Welcome to Collectible Motor Car of Atlanta. My name is Chris, and guys, today I have a very special 1967 Chevrolet Camaro Pro Touring. Before we jump into this video, I do want to mention the merch. We have these really nice hats, we have some really nice gray cotton t-shirts, and we have the handbags that the wife can use to pack some lunch for the day when you're out cruising or going to the car shows. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this video on this beautiful 67 Camaro Pro Touring. This car's got full Detroit speed suspension, four-linked mini tub, coilovers, wheel wood, six-piston brakes, tubular A-arms, everything that you would want for a pro touring car, this one has it. It even has a 408 Stroker LS motor under the hood making big power. But let's go ahead and jump up front here like we typically do in our videos and talk about the paint and body on this car. As you look at the front here, you do notice that the front bumper has been deleted on this car. You do have the beautiful SS grill here as well. You have the RS Hideaway headlights there too. You have the awesome stripe here across the nose. It just looks really good, kind of breaks up everything. You've got your SS badging there on the front as well. And as you can tell, you've got that huge, huge uh, cow hood there, but it looks really good on this car. And it's really cool when you're driving in it and you see that big, big hood in front of you. But you'll see why that's there here in just a minute. As we look at the fender here, it's in excellent condition. I don't see any imperfections. Uh, you got your Camaro badging here on the side. Also wanted to mention all your gaps on your hood are really straight and even all the way across. So that's one thing that here at Collectible we look at. We try to make sure the gaps are nice and clean, especially on a high-end resto mod pro touring car like this. You have a nice 18 inch uh, stain or uh, aluminum wheel here up front. We're not 100% sure what the brand of the wheel is, but it looks fantastic. You've got a Michelin uh, Super Sport tire up front, so plenty of traction for handling those turns. Uh, as we look at the door here, your gaps are nice and even all the way down. You've got some nice chrome mirrors. This is a 67, so you do get the wing window here. All your chrome here around the wing window looks in great condition. As we look at the drip rail here, it's nice and clean. You look at the paint up here inside the drip, well, drip rail, it's nice and smooth. No paint's chipping or flaking off. This car was restored by a very, very, very good body guy. The paint, body, everything's really, really nice. Always like to show you guys when I open the door that the door's shut nice and good, nice and clean, no issues with that, no saggy doors. As you look at the body line on the back quarter panel here, it's nice and sharp. Paint is beautiful. I don't see any dents down the side of the car. Uh, no major paint in imperfections, just absolutely beautiful. And like I mentioned earlier, you do get the mini tubs from Detroit, uh, Detroit Speed. So uh, you can put a really fat tire under there. You got the six piston Willwood brakes as well. Um, so really good looking uh, rim as well there too. Deep dish, gives it that real aggressive muscle car look. As we work our way around the back side of the car here, you do have LED tail lights. You've got a nice chrome bumper back here and you've got your classic SS gas cap as well. I've already unlocked the trunk. We'll go ahead and lift this up. I wanted to show you inside the trunk. As you can look at the bottom of the trunk lid here, it's nice and clean. It's been all painted, really beautiful. And I love to look at the drip rails here just to see how clean they are. And they're nice and clean. All your weather stripping's in great condition as well. As you can see, you do have three, uh, three ring binders here that have tons of documentation, receipts. They've got all the manuals for all the parts and everything for this car. You do have two Optima, bat Optima batteries in the back as well. And as you can see, you do have the cage that comes through the back of the trunk deck there and mounts in the floor. Overall, just super clean with that carpet and everything in the back. I just absolutely love this car, guys. And when I drive it, it just really hits all the spots. But we can go through the paperwork in detail for you guys that are interested in this car, just give us a call. And we do have some pictures on our website of that paperwork, but we can uh, definitely go over that in detail if you guys are interested. If you are interested in this car, give us a call at 770-738-7111. Ask for Chris, that's me, or my partner, Justin. But with that being said, let's go ahead and move up front so I can show you that massive 408 Stroker engine. All right, guys, take a look at that beautiful engine bay. You've got that 408 Stroker engine from LS Accelerate. Uh, just an absolute amazing motor, motor that makes amazing power. You've got the coil pack relocation kit there that kind of puts the coils off to one side, makes them very organized and neat. You've got that fast LSX intake, and that is why you need the cow hood, guys, because that intake does sit kind of high. But man, it just looks amazing in this engine bay. You've got the front drive accessories there that are all done in black, and it just looks killer inside this engine bay. You've got the Willwood master cylinder there that's hydro boost. 
You've got that nice intake that's ran over there to the passenger side down where it can get nice cool air coming from the grill. Everything in here is done nice and clean and, and it's very sanitized and very organized and clean. Just absolutely beautiful here. You've got that really nice big radiator keep everything nice and cool. You got the catch can over there on the back of the firewall. Overall, just absolutely an, an amazing engine. If you guys want more detail on this engine, please give us a call. We can go over it in more detail over the phone and you can reach us at 770-738-7111. You can call Chris, that's me, or my partner, Justin, and we can go over this whole build and everything about this engine in detail with you uh, when you give us a call. But overall, just a very, very, very nice engine bay. And this thing makes a ton of power. But with that being said, let's go ahead and shut this hood. Let's move to the interior and let's go over what we got in there. Wow, check out this beautiful interior, guys. All nice interior here. You've got the Corbo seats with the Ride Tech harnesses. Just absolutely a really pro touring look. You know, the blue carpet at first, when I first seen it, didn't know if I would like that, but it kind of adds some character to the interior in here and it kind of brightens it up. So I definitely like that blue, blue carpet. You've got really nice Dakota digital gauges that look very similar to the stock gauges. But as you can tell, you do have the little uh, screens there that'll light up digital for you. Justin will throw some B-roll over that for you so you can see that. You've got the upgraded pedals here to give, give you a really nice look down there for the pedal assembly. You do have LED lights all in here as well. You also have a Bluetooth amp that you can hook your phone up to, so no need for a head unit. You just control it directly from your phone. You've got upgraded speakers in here and the sound system sounds really good. You've got really nice door panels here that look very similar to the stock ones. Uh, also, you do have the Tiger Cage, which is made by Ride Tech to keep everything, uh, keep you nice and safe in here. And it also adds some strength to the chassis to keep you know the chassis from flexing with that 408 under the hood. You do have a tilt wheel the help if I pulled the lever in more. You do have a billet specialty steering wheel as well. Your headliner's in great condition. Overall, just a beautiful interior, guys. And another uh, feature that I love about this car, check out this gear shifter here. You've got that billet shifter, uh, shifter here with the cutouts. It just gives it a really cool look. I guess that's like a skeleton, skeletonized uh, shifter there. And you have the ball that's all drilled out. Just gives you like a really cool futuristic look. Definitely digging that. That is very, very cool. But enough about the interior. You guys kind of get what I'm saying about it. And I keep saying it's beautiful and all this, but let's go take this one for a drive. All right, guys, we're out cruising in the Camaro, and this thing is a blast to drive. It only takes a few minutes driving this to realize that it is one heck of a machine. Steering is nice and tight. The gauges on this car are freaking awesome. Uh, this is the first set of Dakota Digital gauges that I have seen like this. This TKX five-speed transmission shifts like butter, and this transmission can hold all the power that this car has. And like I mentioned, that cow hood just looks super cool when you're staring out there to the road. It just makes you feel like you're in a muscle car. But overall, guys, this car is just fantastic. The brakes feel really good. And like I said, it's got a nice stereo system in it, so you can definitely listen to music when you're out cruising around. Um, and I really like the Billet Specialty steering wheel. You know, we've had a few cars in the past that, that have this steering wheel, and it's just an awesome steering wheel. Another thing that I've noticed with this beautiful 67 Camaro is you don't have any rubbing issues. This is a pretty good bump here, no rubbing. You know, some cars we take, you know, if the fitment's not perfect on the wheels, it will rub right there. But enough with the talking. Like I said, you already know that this is a nice car. You can tell by the rest of the video. Let's get to the best part and let's do a little pool in this car. It, guys gotta love it man this thing is an absolute beast uh kind of speechless right now i'm sure justin's shaking a little bit over there in the passenger seat um this car's definitely got plenty of power you don't have any issues with that but let's go ahead and wrap this up let's get back to the shop so i can show you all the crazy suspension on the bottom of this car all right guys we're back here at the dealership and we've got the 67 camaro up on the lift we'll start up front I always like to mention the frame horns in these videos because typically anytime you take a front end collision, those will get damaged and you'll sometimes be able to visually see that they are damaged. But these are nice and straight, 
and they're and they're very very clean the whole frame on this car has been painted in a gloss black so it looks really nice underneath here you've got a nice thick radiator here to keep everything nice and cool and it's nice and dry on the bottom side here your cross member is also done in a gloss black and looks very very clean you've got your Detroit speed suspension you got tubular upper and lower a arms as well as coilovers you got six piston wheel wood brakes as well with drilled and slotted rotors just an awesome setup up front here and it handles very well you do have a upgraded gearbox for your steering it's a really aggressive close ratio gearbox your oil pan is nice and dry your five-speed tkx transmission which is a five-speed transmission looks to be brand new no no leaks or anything like that you also have a remote bleeder for your uh, slave cylinder there so you can bleed it if you have any issues it's really handy versus trying to get in there to bleed it like that. You've got the remote bleeder. You do have a set of long tube headers here that runs into three inch exhaust into an X pipe here that runs down to boiler mufflers that are stainless steel. The whole exhaust system here is stainless. So you don't have any issues with rust or anything like that. If you look at your subframe here, it is also done in a gloss black, which is also connected to some subframe connectors, which keeps everything nice and tight. All your wiring is ran up nice and close down the subframe connectors here and ran up to the fuel pump and, and the batteries in the trunk. You do have a four link system back here to your 12 volt rear end and you've got coilovers back here as well. Everything is dry, there's no leaks. You do have a rear girdle back here, which uh, adds a little extra strength to the rear end. So when you're doing those hard pulls on the street, you don't have to worry about the rear end um, having any issues. But overall, very clean underneath here, guys. This is a top-notch car. I've had the pleasure of driving this car more than just what I did in the video. And this car is absolutely amazing. It makes a ton of horsepower. It's probably somewhere around 560 to 580 wheel horsepower. And this car is just a blast to drive. But guys, if you need help with shipping, financing, or anything for the process of buying this car, reach out to me, Chris, or my partner, Justin, and we can do everything we can to help make this an easy process for you. But you can reach us at 770-738-7111. And if you'd like to look at this car in more detail other than just YouTube here, you can go to our website at collectiblemotor.com and you can find this car and you can look at all the pictures and a full description on this vehicle. But overall, just an awesome car. But before I let you guys go, go ahead and hit the thumbs up on this video and subscribe to our channel. We're all the time coming across really nice cars like this, and we do cool videos like the one you just watched. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that. So go ahead, subscribe, and give me a thumbs up on this video. And also comment in the bottom and let me know what I could do better. Or if you'd like to see something else, let us know in the comment section below. But with that being said, guys, we'll go ahead and let you go, and we'll catch you on the next one.